A secret high-risk Israeli commando raid into Entebbe Airport in Uganda is on the brink of disaster. The troops are forced to open fire before reaching their target. The operation is no longer a secret. They are exposed and outnumbered. The lives of 100 hostages and 200 troops are on the line. We jumped off and started running. And as we are running, a Ugandan soldier opens fire right above us. And I shoot around him, hitting him in the chest, and he drops. Any Ugandan soldier we see is shot. There was massive shooting. Inside the terminal, the hostages are terrified. They don't know who is shooting and why. I thought the terrorists will shoot, the, the Ugandan the soldiers will shoot, and we will be dead in a few minutes. They were shooting, terrible shooting all around. Noises, shouting, lights, everything. We were sure that that's the end. It comes now. Everything depends on how quickly the assault force can get to the hostages. It was critical to enter as fast as possible. Amir Offer is the first inside the terminal. I couldn't see my commander, and I was sure that he already ran and he disappeared in the darkness. And I must run as fast as I can in order to catch up with him and to cover his back. He is on his own with no cover. Someone was shooting in the terminal about five meters inside it, and he was holding an AK-47, and he was shooting at me directly. You know, I could see his hands like this because he was shooting a huge burst of fire. His special forces training kicks into action. The bullets were one here and one there, and I, I simply didn't care. I just shot him uh, accurately three or four bullets, and, you know, tuck, 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 and uh, that's it. The rest of his team catch up. As they move through the terminal, they see two men dressed as civilians. They don't realize they are terrorists until one soldier notices a spark. They shouted, they have a grenade, and they shoot them. And... The assault team is now together. They continue to sweep the terminal. 